Hello guys and welcome back to Bit Truth with your host Mark Luther. In today's video we are doing a daily mining video. Of course today is the 9th of July 2018 and today we are mining on nice hash and we will be changing to awesome miner in a few days until I learn the basics at least of using awesome miner. But anyways we're mining 2.35 dollars a day. Of course that changes a lot. Okay we're mining on the KCAC algorithm. I don't know what's for that. Okay, we making about eight point seventy five dollars. Okay, the next payout is on the twelfth, so that's three days from now. I withdrawed yesterday about fourteen dollars worth of Bitcoin from NiceHash to Coinbase, and then resend it to Binance for day trading. Other than that, I'm pretty much like not really comf comfortable with uh, just NiceHash. To be honest, really, I don't like like that the much crashes they have on their algo anyways i feel that also every card is mining differently i mean even the cpu is mining right now okay i put it to mine okay just for a little bit at least this week i want to make a few extra dollars okay for day trading anyways we have mined different uh, algorithms and different coins anyways if we go here we have another bear market coming Okay, I mean, we are in a bear market, but it's even dumping and pumping. We're just trading sideways, to be honest. We're not seeing much other than the tether strategy. And really one evidence that the tether strategy is really effective from the volume, as you can see. A lot of people are using the tether to Bitcoin strategy or tether to altcoin strategy. Okay, one of the most effective strategies in cryptocurrency to multiply your portfolio. But of course, the problem is with trading fees, of course, if you go on Binance, for example, I have one NEO, I tethered it at $40 and I rebuy at this level, there will be much fees than what I've made, so I will not make much profit. Also, you need to consider that people right now are really just either holding their cryptocurrencies or either just mining cryptocurrencies, there's not a lot of volume in the market going around so the market is not healthy to be honest i mean from the last months from december people are really just shocked like they can't even move because everyone is holding and if we all hold there will be no volume okay anyways going to the articles today we have investor says the philippines could be new zealand's next big crypto market now with more than 100 million people okay the philippines offers a huge market opportunity for fintech companies, especially its young populists who are more tech savvy and likely to buy cryptocurrencies than their elders. Uh, Rachel Stevens, okay, says co-founder of cryptocurrency investment platform Investa, made this uh, assessment after joining a team of entrepreneurs who visited the Philippines recently as a part of the Asian New Zealand Foundation delegation to uh, understand how tech uh, tech disruption is emerging to the southeast asia okay so the biggest revelation for me was the philippines has an enormous potential market for financial services of course uh, he talks about financial services but he didn't mention the fintech i mean that's another thing on the top here talks about fintech on top of this the population is tech savvy and very young with a median age of just 23 so they have a lot of millennials and teenagers millennials are eight times more likely to buy bitcoin than baby boomers so it's an incredibly large and attractive market for us now let me just say something now i'm an affiliate marketer okay i understand this stuff they say as if the people from philippines will invest in cryptocurrencies now i don't want to sound negative but there always should be a push Okay, if I see the cryptocurrency market, okay, I go and I look, oh, Bitcoin at this and that, why I don't invest. You need that push to let them invest. You know, when you affiliate market, for example, you advertise a link. Not all people click the link, of course, maybe less than 20%, depending on how good the ad is. But of course, if you know how to get these clicks, you will generate more revenue. So think about this as affiliate marketing. It's the same. You just need the push to the people to invest. Okay, And even if they're millennials, most millennials are either careless or they will not have that much money to invest in cryptocurrencies. You might disagree with me, 
but with the numbers and the bear markets I mean also the if the market goes like on a bullish trend that will be like critical like push to the Philippines uh, incredible uh, millennials so that's why I think it would be interesting of course you comment down below what you think about this okay crypto and blockchain technologies are speeding up the transaction time of transferring money around the world and this is uh, having a huge uh, impact on the reminiscent industry as people can move uh, money back home faster at a lower cost of course I don't know if the Philippines will remain neutral to their uh, so-called cryptocurrency attitude I mean with their uh, like they opened this new harbor where they have like this new economical zone for cryptocurrencies which is interesting I've been making some videos about the Philippines okay and news about them and they're really interesting and hopefully they become like a really adoptive country of cryptocurrencies but also there's a lot of scams that come from the eastern area especially in Singapore Philippines and different places okay just like the scam that I exposed yesterday yesterday or before yesterday called Bitcoin globe that was from Singapore or Philippines or wherever they are okay another thing is the um, crypto bounty hunting is becoming a high-tech way out of poverty so this guy okay I didn't know him before I re read this article to be honest crypto Shaolin they call him Okay, he used to be a poor guy just selling some uh, sugary drinks, soda, on the street. And now he found, like, this cryptocurrency and he became, like, okay, like a freelancer and an entrepreneur in it. But let's read about it. To be honest, before I read this article, I really didn't understand the meaning of bounty. I mean, bounty in cryptocurrency is, I mean, I never understood. I mean, I see an ICOs, but... I really don't understand what the total thing you can do about it so I think I need to educate myself more on the bounty thing cryptocurrencies and that could be a potential to me like bounty hunting I'm not I don't know like how it works but anyways new career more than just a handout however crypto challenge should use the opportunity for a career change eventually delving into the world of digital bounty hunting a job for which he is now paid in cryptocurrency not a co conventional employee crypto Shalon is uh, rather a freelancer of sorts for a platform called bounty ox a site that's a part of a growing movement of similar uh, services they don't go to explain what it is about to be honest i don't know Ethereum bug bounty websites like Gitcoin and Bounties Network okay, have seen increased use of late from uh, bo both sides of the marketplace. Also, Afghanistan based not profit uh, code to inspire recently partnered with Bounties Network to allow young women in the Middle Eastern world country to pick up work for Ether. As is such, a growing number of people are making money off crypto, not in the normal way of hodling or day trading, but by gobbling up small bounties by completing a whole range of tasks. Now, the fact is, what I want to talk about these so-called bounties, is that you can't really count on them. I mean, it just says tasks. Okay, some of them, like say, like Ethereum bug bounty, okay? So really you need to have some level of skill, okay, to actually indulge in these uh, bounties and this type of business. But I'd rather just like day trading and using other softwares, okay, and ho hodling. I really not into a bounty, okay, but I will look on it and I will see what I can find. So thank you guys for watching this video from BitTruth with your host Mark Luther. And I know that we are still in a bear market. This is like literally the seventh month in a row, like in a bear market. We have been just falling and falling and there's even articles saying that we're not going up again. But I don't believe that we're going to stay in this much longer. I mean, in a like in an extended period of time. I'm not saying about tomorrow or a month from now. But what I'm saying is that Every bear market has its own like time. Okay, we just need to wait it out. Day trade some something. Use the so-called tether strategy. And I have some notifications on Discord. So thank you guys for watching, and see you guys on the next video.